and to destroy. Amen. He wants to destroy. Amen. Men and women souls. Amen. Men and women of God. Amen. He wants to tear down. Amen. Their testimony. He wants to tear down. Amen. Their lives. He wants to tear down. Amen. Their spirits. Amen. He wants to tear down. Amen. Their will and their drive and their prestige and their testimony. Amen. He wants to destroy their mind. Amen. He wants to annihilate them and he wants to separate them from the very presence of God. Amen. Old Slewfoot. The Bible said in the book of Revelation, it said that the devil and the dragon fought and his angels and Michael and the angels of heaven fought. Amen. You realize something this morning. Amen. That they're a battle. Amen. They are a war raging this morning. Amen. And the enemy knows. Amen. That his time is short. Amen. And he's trying to tear down. Amen. He's trying to annihilate. Amen. And the first thing he does is like he done to the people of Israel. Amen. And he comes after the weak and the feeble. Amen. David ain't strong into their spirit. Amen. And he is no respecter of person. Amen. He'll come after anybody. Amen. I think about Matthew 4 and Luke chapter 4 when Jesus was in the wilderness fasting for 40 days. Amen. And Satan appeared to him and began to tempt him. Amen. And tried to wreck his credibility. Amen. Tried to wreck his testimony. Amen. Tried to get him to worship him. Amen. Tried to get him to God, amen, tried to get him to step out, amen, of the will and the plan and the purpose that God had for Jesus Christ in his life, amen, that's what his goal is, that's what his purpose is, amen, See, God told, amen, in the book of Genesis, amen, he said you can do anything you want, but do not touch that tree, amen, and they said they seen that the tree, amen, was good for food, amen, and they seen that it would make them wise, amen, but they was told, amen, the day you eat of that tree, amen, you'll surely die, amen, and all of a sudden the serpent came in, amen, it was a little more subtle, amen, it was a little more crafty, amen, it was a little more smarter than everything else around it, and it said, surely you won't die if you eat of that tree, but you will become as gods, and they, Adam and Eve, partook of that tree, amen, and God came down into the pool of the day, amen, the fellowship with Adam and Eve, amen, and found them hiding, amen, and realized what they'd done, amen, what they told them that they'd done, and they was expelled, amen, and cast out of the Garden of Eden. That word Eden, if you look it up, amen, it literally means the Garden of God are the presence of God, and they was put out of the presence of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, it says, Who, amen, should separate you from the love of God? Who, talking to somebody, who will separate you from the love of God? And it gives a list of peril and sword and all of these things, amen, that tries to separate you. But what the serpent did that day Amen. As they never died physically. Amen. They went on living, Adam and Eve. But they died spiritually. Amen. I told you, it's a physical thing in the Word of God. It's a spiritual thing. Amen. And to the New Testament church. Amen. When you get separated from the presence and the love of God. Amen. You'll surely die spiritually. Amen. The wages of sin is death. Amen. Death to your spirit. Death to your soul. Amen. And that's what the enemy would like to do. Amen. He would like to destroy. Amen. To conquer. To cause the powers. Amen. But God has a plan. Amen. God has a people. Amen. God has a Joshua. Amen. It's willing to rise up. Amen. And fight against the enemy. What am I talking about this morning? I'm talking about the chosen ones. Amen. Chosen people of God. He said, choose you out men. Amen. That will go out and fight. Amen. And he chose out some men. Amen. And he went out and fought with Amalek. 
And it said when Moses stood on top of that hill with his hands raised, it said that Israel prevailed. Amen. When we stand, amen, upon the Word of God, when we stand upon the promises of God, the Bible said when you can do all that you can do, the stand, just the stand therefore. Amen. I think about it in 2 Chronicles in chapter 20. Amen. Jehoshaphat was out number 10 to 1. Amen. And the Bible said that the Lord told him just to come out and stand on that battlefield. Amen. And cry and worship the Lord. Amen. And you will see the salvation of God move on your behalf. Amen. When we stand believing that He is. Amen. And He is a rewarder of those. Amen. And diligently seek Him. Amen. He'll move on your behalf. Amen. He'll make the crooked path straight. He'll make the rough places smooth. Amen. He'll make a way where they seem to be no way. Amen. God will move on your behalf. Amen. When we stand. Amen. And we praise Him in the midst of our battle. In the midst of our trial. In the midst of our situation. Amen. When we stand with our hands raised in the victory on the God. Knowing. Amen. That if God be for us. Amen. Who can be against us? Amen. God is on our side. Amen. For the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. And things of God. Amen. Everything. Amen. It will rise up against the knowledge of God. Amen. The weapons this morning of our warfare tonight. Amen. This morning are not carnal. Amen. But they're spiritual. Amen. And they're mighty. Amen. It says in Zechariah, I believe it's chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, Not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of Almighty God. Amen. It's by His Spirit. Amen. We are made overcomers. Amen. In the book of, of, of Romans chapter 8, it says that we are more than conquerors this morning, my brother. Amen. Through Christ Jesus that strengthens us. Amen. We are more than overcomers. Amen. We are more than conquerors this morning. Amen. And we'll be able to put the flight. Amen. The army of the alien. Amen. When we believe. Amen. That God is on our side. Amen. When God is in our corner. Amen. We got a corner man in Jesus Christ. Amen. It's standing behind us. Amen. It's got our back. Amen. It's backing us up. Amen. It's standing for us. Amen. It's standing firm with us. Amen. He's like a friend. Amen. It sticketh closer than a brother. Amen. The Bible says, amen, when your father and mother will forsake you. Amen. When your friends will walk off and leave you. Amen. Fair weather friends, amen, will walk on you in the midst of trouble, in the midst of tribulation, in the midst of problems. Amen. People will leave you, but the Lord will stay with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll go with you all the way, even to the end this morning. Amen. I'll be that friend. Amen. It sticks by your side. Amen. It sticks with you through thick and thin. Amen. It sticks with you through every trial, every tribulation, and every problem, and every headache, everything that the enemy, amen, throws against you. Amen. I'm standing with you. And Moses was standing. Amen. Standing on that hilltop. Amen. With his hands raised high. Amen. Standing, watching. Amen. On their behalf. It said when his arms was raised, amen, Israel prevailed. But when his arms sagged low, amen, that Amalek prevailed. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something this morning? And Paul told the Galatian church, amen, he said, don't be weary and well-doing. Amen. So you can reap if you faint not. Amen. Sometimes we get feeble. Amen. Sometimes we get down. Sometimes we get discouraged. Sometimes we get weak into our faith. Sometimes we get weak into our walk with Christ. Amen. Sometimes it gets discouraging. Amen. But he said, amen, those that endure to the end. Amen. Those shall be saved. Amen. We need to get some durability behind us. Amen. We need to get some word and some faith into us. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. 